Yeah, so we got another celebrity death in less than, what, two or three days from the last death? Well, uh, well, it was a um, 17-year-old, the, what's the E-Dot rapper guy from uh, New York? He just, well, allegedly they say he committed the S-word, but who knows? But um, I feel like this Aaron Carter is, is to uh, distract us and take us off of, well, no pun intended, but take us off the subject that, and everybody trying to figure out what happened with takeoff. Um. I mean, that's how they do, man. Like a rapper dies, then you come with a distraction. Everybody stops talking about it. Time goes by, everything gets quiet, and somebody else dies. It's the same cycle. It like it keeps going. And with this Aaron Carter, is is weird because like Whitney Houston was found in the bathtub. Her daughter Bobby Christina was also found in the bathtub. Like. If that ain't weird enough for you, like, I don't know what else to tell you, man. And y'all keep coming with this word conspiracy, and, like, that's that's the dumbest shit ever. Like, if you don't know that the government made the word conspiracy up because people were, um, whistleblowers were, were speaking out about, like, JFK and, and shit like uh, UFOs, and then the government comes up with the word conspiracy, to make everybody, like, turn against those type of people that's really telling the truth. Like, then, I mean, just do your research on that shit, but, but, yeah, uh, R.P. Aaron Carter, man, R.P. Takeoff, uh, shit's getting a little eerie out here. To be a celebrity in Hollywood or whatever city you at is, is just, like, you definitely got a target on your back. But, um, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna stop talking about takeoff, man. I feel like this is a distraction. Uh, we gonna we gonna get to it, man. And let's not forget, um, respect to Aaron Carter because he turned down a lot of money to lie on Mac, uh, Michael Jackson. Um, I did a, a song with Michael Jackson. He picked a handful of people: Luther Vandross, Celine Dion, Beyonce. Uh, Justin Timberlake and me <clears throat> and we did a song called What More Can I Give and then I opened up with him Madison Square Garden on September 9th and September 10th of 2001 and then we all left the morning of September, September 11th and I saw the plane hit the building like you're in a plane no, flying? No, no, I was in a limousine. I was I was supposed to go on tour, and Michael invited us to go to an amusement park after the show. So I was in a limousine going to a private airport, and I was across the Hudson, and I was just standing there like thinking, oh, I remember this from like Home Alone, you know, and I was just thinking, you know, whatever. And, and then all of a sudden, I see the plane hit, and about four seconds later, I hear it. And it was just, it was crazy. And then so I, I, I saw Michael at the concert, and I go, Hey, I'm gonna get that jacket from you. One that's made out of all Swarovski crystal that's worth like $35 million. <laughs> he kind of giggled it off a little bit. Then I went to his birthday party and, you know, his 47th birthday party, and I I literally just grabbed the cake and I smashed it in his face. I didn't care. I was like, but, I'm gonna but, treat you like a human being. You know what I mean? Did you get the, the jacket? Later that night, <clears throat> me. My brother, Rodney Jerkins, Michael, and Raffle, the executor of his estates, and we're all sitting down in his living room. And Raffles leans over Michael and goes, hey, don't you have something for Aaron? He comes out, gives me the jacket. Nick gets so pissed off, he gets up immediately and leaves. What was your take on... Uh on like all the, the Michael Jackson documentary? Leaving that, Neverland? Yeah, yeah the, was that the Bullshit. one? Bullshit. Bullshit, man. Wade Robson, bro. Come on, dude. I like, mean, I'm sorry, but I was there. I spent plenty of nights with Michael. I didn't see anything remotely close to that. But you, I saw you, nothing but respect and, and 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 generosity. I smoked weed with Michael. Um, wow. See, that's, Michael Jackson smoked surprising. weed, and I smoked weed with him. Me, Michael, and Chris Tucker went riding around on four-wheelers in the mountains for like three or four hours. Um... You know, Michael jumped into the uh, his alligator pit and started swinging around his alligator tail in the middle of the day. Like, he was just a goofy, fun guy, man. 
Yeah, I remember Tom Mastro said that, you know, once he got to know Michael and he was working on his case, Michael said that his biggest regret was settling that first lawsuit. Michael Jackson told me, in no uncertain terms, that settling that case in 1994 was the biggest mistake he'd ever made. He should never have settled it. He should have fought it through a trial. He would have won. It was an absurd case. But he was advised, he told me, by lawyers, by business advisors, to settle it and get rid of it. Remember that one boy? Now listen to this. I have to tell you this. Okay. So after I left the party, and the next day I smoked weed with Michael, and then I get I get in the limousine and I leave. I get back to the Sheraton Hotel at Universal over here. There's four FBI agents waiting for me in the hotel room. And my mom's dad, she's like, tell them what happened. And I'm like, what do you mean, tell them what happened? And I sit down with them and they all get Aussies, super sexually exploiting, you know, questions, back backsided questions. And I knew that at my age already. And I looked at all four of them and I said, I said, are y'all crazy? I said, what you think I'm going to do? Tell you that Michael did something bad so that we, we can sue him for money? That's what I told him. I was like, you're crazy. And I looked over at my mom and I was like, are you serious, mom? I was like, what is going on here? Why are you letting this happen? And she goes, she goes, well, she goes, oh, well, I think something happened. You know, I think something. I'm like, Really? That man did nothing but be hospitable, kind, loving, giving, everything you can think of. We rode four wheelers for five hours, me, him, and Chris Tucker in the mountains. And that makes you wonder, like, who were the people that came to him with that offer about lying on Michael Jackson, you know, when he was dealing with his case uh, with children? So it's like, uh, was he taken out? Because um, it looks like a little foul play, man. You telling me that these, all these celebrities are just being found in bathtubs? Like, what's so symbolic about a bathtub? Why Whitney Houston? Bobby Christina? Now Aaron Carter. Like, what's so symbolic about a bathtub? What's so symbolic about a bathtub?